What is up everyone? Today I want to show you one of the best comps and one of my favorite comps after the B patch. And it's actually a pretty easy comp. You will go level 6 and it is a reroll comp. Let me show you the basic, basic setup. Okay, so we need a Blitz, we need a Lucian, we need a Silas, a Camille, a Ezreal, and we need a Riven. Where's my... Okay, there's Riven. Let's position it very basic. This front line. And back line. So it is a reroll quick draw uh, setup. So what we do right here, we go to six. And at six, we stay above 50 and we reroll and see if he can hit some three stars. If you are uncontested on Ezreal, we are rerolling her until she's a three star. If you have the Rising Spellforce Augment, it is going to be even stronger. If you have a quick draw Augment, the quick draw hard. It is also a very good idea. And basically what you do is at 6, if you stay above 50, you scout. You can see if anybody is uh, using one of these um, legends, champions. And if you see that like Ezreal or Blitzcrank and Silas are uncontested, you reroll those to 3 stars. Because you're not going to go 9. You will stay 7 in the end, maybe 8 if you are very, very healthy and have good econ. Um, one other thing you need to focus on is the admin. You have Camille and Blitzcrank for the admin buff. And the admin buff will need to be a AP. Uh, gain so or combat start five seconds ally dead on kill and not for admins but for your whole team so your Ezreal can do the carrying most of the game okay so think about it like this if your Ezreal is um, going to be uncontested and you want to make her to carry and you have like rising spell first this is the build you want to go for you want to have a blue buff you want her to cast as much as possible a jeweled gauntlet is a must uh, or you have the um, the augment but if not, you use the Jewel Gauntlet and something like a... It can, can be anything, a Rabadon's Hextech Gauntlet. I don't think it matters that much. Or a Hodge or something like that. At 7, if you have a 3-star Ezreal and, for example, a 3-star Blitz and Silas, we go to 7 and you put in a Misfortune. She's going to be your second carry next to Ezreal. Hacker is uh, nerfed a bit because you now need uh, 3 hackers to send someone in the back line. So you're pretty safe. Spread your uh, carries uh, in each corner. And then we are going to probably two-star her first. Maybe see if there's an angle for a Riven 3. If there's no angle whatsoever, we try to go 8. And 8 can be multiple things. Or you can put in another defender like Shen. If you lack in the, in the front line part. If you are good on the front line. Then we are going to play a Kai'Sa. Or for a quick draw. If you have a quick draw hard, we're not going to play Kaisa. But you can also play a Infinity Ultimate Ezreal. Because your Ezreal ult will now go through the whole front line as well. One of the most important things in this whole game right now for this comp is... Are you contested? If you are not contested on your Ezreal, you can go for Ezreal 3. Second, start of the game at the carousel you go for a tier a tier is very much needed for this build if you play ezreal carry or misfortune carry you need a tier uh, third there are some very good augments that can absolutely win you the game i talked about it first is the um quick draw oh i can't type the quick draw heart or soul that will actually absolutely help you but also trill of the hunt will be very good because your ezreal will try to at least get close to one tap people so he will heal up and of course axiom arc will do the same thing if you can find a drill of the hunt and an axiom arc combo you will probably win the game if you are uncontested or closely uncontested because this Azrael will absolutely melt everyone and same for misfortune and that is basically the build so start with a tier look if you're uncontested if you're basically uncontested or some units are uncontested at level six you roll for three stars then you go seven put in misfortune tank items on your strongest tank your admin has to be an ap uh MP ap increase and then you just buy uh build quick draw level, level seven misfortune and level eight is flex depending on what you hit and what you need that's basically the build it does a wonders right now and it's just mostly uncontested so try it out yourself and let me know in the comments if you liked it or not and I will see you in the next video.